Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Zombies Indie Action Pack for all you people that have backed the project so far. So if you haven't watched Zombies yet already, it has come bundled with these videos. Take a look at it. It's 48 minutes of a zombie action romp across Dartmoor, which is just near where we live here. It was shot on an incredibly low budget with an incredibly dedicated team of volunteers. Now obviously it has its holes, but one thing it did do is it taught us an awful lot about low budget indie filmmaking, specifically action filmmaking. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be going through some of the basic techniques and the lessons that we learned making that movie. We are going to be dealing with very, very high temperatures. We're going to be dealing with chemicals that are potentially hazardous and we're going to be dealing with compressed air. So don't try any of this at home without proper supervision and proper training. If you do, and if you do use scissors, make sure you have a grown up around to give you a hand. So with that said, we're going to be going through all kinds of cool techniques. We're going to be going through things like the fundamentals of an action movie, making your own cinema grade blood without using corn syrup that's going to attract a whole horde of bees, but equally isn't going to cost too much money. We're going to be going through the silicone molding process. This is how you can take silicone chemicals and take molds of props and everyday items to cast safe or breakable versions of them. We're going to be using things like other types of silicone. This is Platsil Gel 10. This can be direct applied to your talent on set to create gore and wounds and all kinds of crazy effects. We're also going to be covering latex, we're going to be covering gunshots, how you can take things and add muzzle flashes in post-production to just sell those effects. We're going to be covering things like breakaway glass. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry dude. We're going to be talking about exactly where your camera should be to sell those crucial action movie fight scenes. We're going to be showing you how to... Sorry dude. Throw a punch. Action movies are a hell of a lot of fun. And with these techniques, you can sell some beautiful, beautiful illusions. They're not necessarily the most expensive or most professional ways to achieve these results, but they are great, they are cheap, they are quick. And with the right little bit of imagination and wizardry, you can sell them to your audience without spending a packet. So let's get started. We're gonna crack on with cinema grade blood as episode one. Sorry, man. Dude. <laughs> 